Hi, my name is Douglas. I'm Vivian. We run Toledo's Espresso Nook as well as a co top, also short for Chip of the Old Block. I think when I was younger, when I was studying, I uh, just really enjoyed coffee and been studying and part timing at a few different cafes. From there, I think I got the opportunity to learn a bit about coffee. The friends that I met along the way, also, I think, like someone who introduced us and yeah, that's how we met also in coffee and I learned a lot from Douglas. Yeah, and for me, um, it actually kind of ties in the story of how Toledo started as well. A long, long time ago, Toledo was nothing like a cafe. It was actually like a, a snack bar in the Omni Theatre where you watch your IMAX movies and everything. If you were to buy like your popcorn and your hot dogs, right, that was us. My mum had like this little coffee machine at the counter and um, I would go there to like study for my O-levels and when I was like bored or anything, right, I would just go and play at the coffee machine. So as I started playing the coffee machine more and more, then I like, yeah, hey, I actually kind of like it. I got an interest for it. So I started like learning make coffee, like just on the fly, right? For Chip of the Old Block, it actually has a dual meaning. It's actually because like, you can imagine that we're just brewing coffee from this part of the block. So it's like a chip of the old block. And then the other meaning is that it's like you take a piece of like what we do in Toledo's but you pluck it out and you put it. So it's like a chip of the old block also. Wow, it's it's very organic. So when we when we started the coffee cut, right, what happened was uh, we did three events and then COVID hit. So when COVID hit, right, we had to just wrap everything up and put it back in the warehouse. We got married and then we moved in. And then um, we were thinking that actually the coffee machine is kind of like wasted just like hanging out at the warehouse, right? Why don't we install it at home? And then one day, our neighbor next door smelled the coffee. And then she texted us and said that the coffee smells really nice. Can I like just buy a coffee from you? So after that, it kind of sparked the idea that, you know, everyone is working from home. And then like, we like to think that we're like baristas working from home. So we thought like, it would be nice if we could like make coffee for like our neighborhood. Just like busy working at home, they can like enjoy like a coffee that they could have like in a cafe but in their own home. You know like how most neighbourhoods you have like a Facebook group where like you know you can meet your neighbours and stuff. We just posted on that group that we had they're like oh okay come over for, for coffee this weekend. Yeah. We are like gonna brew some coffee just like come and have fun. That weekend like the first time we opened our door yeah. like it was pretty cool like meeting neighbours that we never met before and like we just love coffee right so yeah. I think like coffee just brought the whole neighbourhood together. Yeah. For Toledo's like it's not just coffee, but we also have like brunch. So it's like a full fitted cafe. So then like people will come over and then like they'll just like sit down and have coffee and brunch. But for Kotop, it's very fluid. We have like transited from brewing coffee from our home for the neighbours outside the neighbourhood. In Toledo's back then, before COVID, it used to be mainly tourists. We, because we're near like, you know, Arab Street. COVID happened. Which, the good thing was that we got to know more of our locals, which is nice. Finally, now like um, COVID has died down, right? We get both. Yeah, so it's, it's really just anyone who just wants like a, a coffee and a brunch. And then for Kotop, like it was, it started off with like the neighbours, people who lived in like our condo. Like we started to like document like the things that happened in our home, mm. um, posted it on TikTok and then people outside of the condo knew about it. And they were sending the videos back to our neighbours. Yeah. And then more neighbours came and like, it, it was just like really nice that people were sharing it and we really appreciate like people sharing it for us. And then up to today, like we started doing coffee cart events and our clients would be like um, the corporate companies for office openings or like exhibitions and we even did like a few weddings. Yeah. Yeah, and I think there was yeah. once we did um, a teacher's appreciation. Yeah, teacher's appreciation. Yeah, so we do like the bottle onsen coffees and yeah. then like we customize it. Like, thank, happy teacher's yeah. day. When we were brewing coffee um, from our home, right, we set up like an online site where people will just like order whatever coffee they want. So they'll just order in advance and they'll tell us what time they're coming over and then we'll just pass it to them. So it's all like pre-orders or sometimes it's like on the day itself. We were trying to tell people like how to find us, you know, so we'll say you can meet us at the main gate, the side gate. And then after that, we, we kind of thought that actually it would be quite 
convenient if like people could just drive by and just pass it to yeah. them. And they didn't have to get out of the car. Especially like because if people are driving, then like you need to tell like the condo that oh I'm a I'm a visitor and and all that. We don't want we don't want to like stress out like our security. Nothing weird actually. It's yeah. it's like we we are very comfortable. So like this lobby is very happening. Yeah. Like a, this whole block. This whole block. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a this, mess block. It's a mess block. Yeah. <laughs> it was nice because like after a while it became like a habit of like hey you're brewing like can I just grab a quick coffee from you? Yeah, I happen to be at home sure kind of thing. And then it's it's like a very kampong spirit like, like quite nice. Yeah. 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 No, we we actually didn't like um we didn't like leverage on the fact that we run Toledo's at all. We challenge ourselves yeah. by not um like plugging on our Toledo's platform. Yeah. Yeah. So we just try and see if we can like build a brand organically since it's a very like community thing and it's specific to yeah. this place. We want it to be keep really it really intimate. Keep it intimate. Yeah. yeah. I think when we first stepped out to do this, we we really made sure that we did all the research because it's kind of like uncharted territory. We kind of like just like read up with URA, you know, the home based business scheme and all these things. Make sure that we got like our license. We both have food handling license. Yeah, so that's important. Mm. But there are rules such that like uh, you can't like put signage outside. Yeah, stuff like that, or like um, you can't hire people. We just operate and ensure that we don't disturb our neighbors and we don't create like a ruckus. So currently, we really focus on like um, a mobile coffee cart. So it's it's back up and running, and like the uh, original plan. The original plan. <laughs> so for that one, like uh, I think since June this year, we've been just doing like lots of like corporate events some mm. weddings, uh, really any event you can think of, like we just like provide the coffee. We bring our espresso machine with us. Yeah. yeah. So it's a full like cafe setup. You have like espresso and it's very like customizable. Uh. So according to like your event, we can like help create like labels and designs to really just fit like for your event. So that's kind of like our our main focus right now on Kotop. We still do like sell like our onsen coffee is bottled because there is demand for that and then like uh, we, we, we have it for delivery also. It's kind of like a resurrection of what we originally wanted to do. Mm. Yeah, things opening up now. Coming in two years. And this is your first home? First home. I mean, it was pretty straightforward for us. We, we, we knew where we wanted to stay. When it came to like the whole design journey, our vision for our home was a place of rest. For us, like running like uh, Toledo's, it's like um, we needed like a place where we can just like a uh, segment work away from. Yeah, so like we wanted a sanctuary. We wanted like a place where we can be calm, and peaceful. I think like our home also looks very different than the cafe. Yeah. And we wanted a different environment to yeah. yeah to come home to. Yeah. Number one is like location. So location is super central. And it's also very near to like our work. So like if we need to like run to the cafe, everything is super nearby. And like we just really like the, the whole vibe and the aesthetics of the place also. It's just like the large greenery with like the muted grey. I really love that we are close to a few malls. Oh yeah. And uh, United Square is next door. It's and literally it's a next door. Mall. Yeah. I like how like we didn't have to do much renovation also to this unit. Yeah. The main renovation we did was for the kitchen area mm. and we just left like most of the other rooms as it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. we, we love every space in our home actually but it really depends on what we're doing but I would say this spot here like this this corner here this is like uh, our favorite space because we even like for Kotop we do a lot of our shoots like on this table we brew a lot of coffee in this table when we were doing like the home coffee experience when people came over for coffee is over here as well yeah yeah so it's, it's like a place for convenience my favorite area is like the balcony I like to have my morning coffee there yeah, yeah. I think in the future we wish we had a bigger kitchen yeah. because we, we love food we love like cooking and like experimenting and stuff the, the kitchen is a bit small. It's not like a, another room where like it's like open kitchen. one kitchen. It's like an open concept kitchen. It's kind of blended in with the dining room. So mm. when we cook yeah. and then like the whole place kind of like smells like the cooking. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, But like uh, we did the most work in the kitchen. Mm. Yeah, to really maximize like the, the little kitchen that we have. Oh, it, it is very hard. La. And um, especially when you love what you're doing, I think the line becomes even more blurred. 
My wife helps me a lot in that area because uh, between the two, I'm the workaholic one. I get carried away. Then she'll be the one to tell me like, hey, you know, like it's time to stop. <laughs> yeah. Take a break, you know? And then like, so I think it's important to really be very intentional about setting aside quality time. So we'll tell ourselves like, okay, you know, this day is our date night. This day we have time for each other, time to rest, time to meditate. Especially when like you're doing what we love and with the person that we love, yeah. it's very hard to stop Dang. talking about um, yeah. work. Sometimes we find ourselves like um, it's really late at night and then we are talking about work yeah. uh, and upcoming event. So I think we have to like be intentional like you said to mm. have time to talk about things outside of work. Yeah, so for Kotop, like, um, our main thing is actually really like the coffee cart itself, you know, so where people can book us for corporate events, weddings, like any any event at all. Yeah, but like um, the home business part is really like the experimental part, it's very fluid, like it, it has evolved so much over like the months that we've been doing it and it will continue to evolve, it will continue to. So to be in tune with that, you can follow us on our Instagram at Top Coffee and uh, you can just look for our updates, check out our Insta stories, our reels and all that and yeah, it's, it's all fun. Yeah. yeah. You got it, you covered everything. Yay! Yay. 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 Yay.